Hi, my name is Adam. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is walk through neighborhoods, through the woods, through parks, and on mountains. I like to walk. So join me, and together we'll take a step to see the world. It's a blistering 100 degree plus day in Portland, Oregon. And I and Adam filling in another issue. Walking with Adam, abandoned places. Two years ago, about, Civvy's restaurants which also operated like El Torito restaurants, which we used to also have in the area, but disappeared a long time ago. Sevy's restaurant went out of business without any warning to their, patron, uh, their uh, workers. And since then, I don't know about all the locations, but the location close to me, this one, in... Uh, it's this side of the street, so this would be Hillsboro, Oregon. Has been abandoned ever since. And it's really sad. I was eating here like the week before they disappeared. And there was no mention that anything was gonna happen. And then the next week I came back and they were gone. Absolutely gone. See, the decorations are still up in there. There's even still, that looks like tables. Take a look. What can I see inside here? Uh, not much from that point of view. That's not anything. Let's see if I can get a good look into a window. see yeah the tables and chairs are still there um, yeah it still looks like <laughs> well the last place the last restaurant I went to still had chairs but their tables were gone this place has tables and chairs still. And uh, yeah. Wow. I see. I don't know if that's the back of. That's probably not what I'm thinking it is. But yeah. Totally. Still look like they're ready to go. I wonder if the stuff's still in the kitchen. That's probably gone at least. But I'm surprised the tables and chairs are still in there. Um, I'm not going to say they did their own gardening this year. It's been two years, but it looks like one of the flowers came back. A few of them. They're mostly dried out now. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, there's sticker bushes out here too. So this place is definitely gone, cleared out. That was just the weirdest thing. Uh, what did I like about Chevy's? They had some, they had really good chips. The chips were free. I didn't like their salsa. I never liked their salsa. I always thought their salsa was like the worst thing ever devised by man. It was that bad. But uh, their chips I thought were wonderful. That's super duper dark. Can I see in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they've got alarms on these doors. I'm not going to even try to open it. Well, I'm not going to try to test the lock. 
Not that I would go in. But it was just, it was just a shock having this place close. Because it was always busy. Every freaking night. Um, that was another thing I didn't like about this place. It was always busy. And because it was so busy, the uh, seating seemed close inside and it was always very loud. Um, in fact, it was like they put, they designed their place to uh, echo any sounds that were going on in it to make it seem more loud than it was. But uh, yeah. So I didn't like all their selections, obviously. Who does? Um, but I did like a few of them. Uh, and they had good uh, drinks. I, I like their, uh, well, I guess the well done pina colada anywhere is good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's my drink of choice. And yeah, that place is closed. It's not coming back. Here's a nice patio area, which would have kept the place getting some customers during the COVID-19 era. But this place closed before that, and nobody has taken it over, which is surprising. It's a nice restaurant, obviously done in uh, Spanish construction. It looks like, I mean, you know, it still looks furnished. Some place could have taken it. I just didn't. But everything else around it is very busy. Um, I was surprised when I read that the company behind Chevy's had filed bankruptcy because every restaurant that I've gone to from that company was always very busy in this area. Of course, that's not all of the restaurants, but I guess this little portion of them didn't make up for the rest, right? So that's abandoned Chevy's. Ooh. Round table has good pizza. This teriyaki place used to have, used to be called Skewers. And the food there was wonderful. And the little old man who ran it was a very, very nice, very sweet guy. Now it's just random teriyaki. <laughs> 